All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Diamond Zone Wednesday, Wednesday. Wonderful Wednesday. All right, a couple of announcements um, before we bring up Melanie. Um, okay, I, I think I misspoke on the pay cycle. Um, there has been no announcement of a two-week pay cycle. Um, it's a one-week pay cycle until further notice. So just uh, note that, guys. Um, not a two-week pay cycle that has been announced. It's a one-week pay cycle. All right. Um, also, today, 12 and 6, two opportunity presentations, 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock. But remember, guys, please note, okay, all my Holland people, Tanya, Wilma, David, okay, privatehelomeeting.com. Privatehelomeeting.com. No longer is it diamondzone.world for the opportunity presentations. Privatehelomeeting.com. Give me a thumbs up, Tanya, that you got that. Okay. All right. So um, that is today at 12 and 6. Um, so pack the house, guys. And um, also, I want to show you, I think you guys saw this, you know, how the Diamond Zone like to have fun. Okay, there we are. Okay, at uh, in Los in Los Angeles, um, we put a little post out for everybody that was uh, um, attending the conference that we were going to be at this Lucky Strike Bar, um, and you could see the picture there. A lot of Diamonds owners came out, um, and it was uh, it was a fun night, guys, to see and, and meet everybody uh, that was there in Los Angeles, and uh, we want to continue that. And I put here, diamond zoners know how to how to do it. Meetings, parties, and trainings. That's what we do. That's what we do. So we had a fun night, guys, and um, we're going to continue this, you know, as we do these big events, you know, all around the country. So it was great to see all you guys out there. All right. So with that, um, as you guys know, we talked about focus yesterday, and um, just want to make sure everybody every day. Right with the bios, then guys, there's no reason. Okay, you know how we say find your little successes. Okay, what if you just sold one pack of bios then yesterday? Right, there should be no excuse why business isn't being done every day now, every single day. So hold yourself accountable. Right, of course, the name of the game is sponsor, the name of the game is to share with people the opportunity. Right, and here's one more thing I want to just uh, prep you guys. If you're doing your testimonial, okay, it's okay to talk about a business plan. You know how I did? I did my radio commercial for all of you, and I said, and in our first year, we made fifty-five thousand dollars. Well, one of the questions people ask me is, well, I haven't made money yet. What could I share with people? Well, you could just spin it. And do you know I'm on a business plan in my first year to make $50,000? Same thing. Just, just, inter just, just put in, instead of you earned, your business plan. If you believe you can make $100,000, just make sure you put your income disclosure within that, within that message. Okay, so once again, I'm on a business plan this year to make $55,000. And now I know I'm going to have a quality of life with money and time. Okay, so just a little tweak for people to go, I haven't made money yet. That's okay. Just share with people what you're going to do. All right. So without further ado, guys, I am so excited. Um, and and I, I do appreciate Melanie, um, you know, coming out and making this commitment to all of us once a month. Um, I, I'm getting so much feedback of how this has helped them prospect on LinkedIn. And not just LinkedIn. They're saying, you know what? It's the same principles no matter what we do. And so, uh, Melanie, I appreciate you. I think I gave you co-host. Are you there? I'm here. Can you hear me all right? Oh, there you are. Hi, hi. Good to hey, see you. Good to see you. Is the microphone the right microphone? And am I clear? You are clear as bell. Awesome. Fantastic. Hello, Jeff. Happy to be here, excited to be here. And I am really grateful for everybody that I've gotten to work with, just so you know, because they're helping me to help more of you. So today, what I have to share is 
uh, what I have added to my consulting is the actual scripts. So we've been talking about LinkedIn, how to market, how to be not spammy, how to, you know, make sure that you're not coming across as a amateur, right? A spammy amateur, but as a professional network marketer. So today we're actually going to talk about the, what do you actually say? And before I hop into the actual presentation, I just want to give you the, why we're going through this with such detail. And it's a bit of um, neuroscience. Is that okay if we get into the way our brains work and how we self-sabotage or win? Because how to have the habits of a winner is really important in this whole game, right? So if you do not know the actual steps from here to enrolling your prospect, if it's not crystal clear to you, your brain will stop you from even doing the reaching out from making the connections, from actually even prospecting, because you haven't seen the process from the beginning to the end. So today, we're gonna go, who haven't been here before, and also so that you can uh, make sure that you get your teams on LinkedIn, because it's powerful. But we're gonna walk through the actual methodology, how a professional network marketer takes an online prospect or an offline, it does not matter, okay? It does not matter if they're online, offline, or where you meet them, but how you take them from, yes, I'm open to taking a look, to through the information and then to the enrollment on the other side. Because if you see that process and you can envision it, then you can do it. You can do it once, you can do it 100 times, you can do it 1,000 times, right? And so I'm also gonna give you a golden email follow-up. I mean, this thing has, it's just absolutely brilliant. And I need a little bit of your help when we get to that because I'm gonna need some numbers to add to it. But essentially it's the, the PowerPoints about the opportunity. Remember, when we're on LinkedIn, we're prospecting for business builders. Yes, we're gonna sell product because everybody gets one. But you're prospecting for business builders. And this email is the absolute golden follow-up for your prospects that you find on LinkedIn or anywhere, okay? So, and it, it positions you as the leader and that's of utmost importance. So, we're ready to hop into this presentation today. Let's get the screen going, hold on here. All right, Zoom. Okay, so first just a little bit um, about my story and why I'm even qualified to be here at all and teach you anything about LinkedIn, because I think it's fair. Um, my story in a nutshell is I had zero business experience. I was a traveling hippie uh, ecologist and farm farmer, okay? <laughs> and uh, But I was really, my vision was to be a full-time mom to my child in the belly um, and to just actually be a parent because that kind of fits my hippie sensibilities, right? So I found this online industry in uh, 2001, actually, and it has been an incredible gift. Um, not only did it give me an outlet for my outgoing traveling personality, hello, that's who I was, um, because it not just not do not want to downplay anybody who's a mom please this is the most important job but not just being a mom but also having friends all over the world and being able to travel and expense that on my taxes um, this has been an incredible blessing so i adore this industry and i've been doing this for a long time but because i had zero business experience this is all done i think of myself as like a diy marketer and done from scratch and done basically for free okay so we generated i've generated um, enough prospects to enroll more than 2500 customers more than uh 600 promoters distributors whatever you want to call them in over time using social media so and i'm not i'm not your um i'm not I'm not your, your selfie girl. I am your 
prospecting maniac girl, just so you know. So there's a difference between lots and lots of marketing and actual lots and lots of prospecting. So we are going to talk prospecting, just so you know. You don't have to have the most beautiful pictures <laughs> to make this work. This is about you getting the work done. Because seriously, if your life is anything like mine, then you want to spend more time doing this cool stuff, right? And less time behind a computer, <laughs> right? So you're going to want to use the most direct path from prospect to enrollment as possible. And we're going to do that using LinkedIn for a very good reason. Now, lots of, we've been talking social media and network marketing for years and years. Um, I kind of got really burnt out on Facebook because I wasn't getting the results that I used to get. And so I found my way over to this professional platform called LinkedIn. And I actually studied um, from people who have nothing to do with network marketing how to use the platform. Okay. So just to give you an idea, like being a continued education student, I went outside of our industry because nobody in our industry is talking about this. So shh, you guys blow it up and stay professional. Okay. Uh, but LinkedIn is where the quality prospects are at. And that's what you need to know is it's where the quality people are. You're not going to find a lot of tire kickers and it's not, uh, it is totally a business and a recruiting platform. So let me just say that again, LinkedIn is, is not it's not a B2C or a, bit, a customer acquisition platform. You may find that better on other social media platforms. LinkedIn is where you're going to find your business builders. And this is the number one reason when I saw this, I said, forget the rest. Why the heck would I, when my goal is conversion, right? My goal is to get somebody from taking a look to enrolling as fast as possible and have the most people do so. When I saw these numbers, I said, well, this is it. I'm, there's no reason for me to focus anywhere else for what I do, which is getting, it's, it's making the connections, prospecting, getting people to the overview and winning all day long. And if you're up for winning, then you're going to be on LinkedIn and you're going to encourage your team to do the same professionally. Because as I say, uh, LinkedIn is like the wild, wild west of social media and there is gold in them, their hills for those who know how to prospect. So today I'm going to teach you how to prospect. So we've talked a lot over the last few uh, sessions about marketing and such. Today we're going to get down to the nuts and bolts, the, the actual guts of what makes LinkedIn work for you and for generating income. Okay. So you today, just so you know, this diamond zone is getting spoiled. Um, this, the scripts I'm giving you today are have only been given to my consulting clients. Okay. So this is, but because you're on the diamond zone, a, within an hour of this being closed today, I'm going to email out the, uh, actual scripts. So the, you're going to see the document. I'm going to actually email that out to you. So if you go and get your, um, LinkedIn checklist, which you will utilize as well, but get your these scripts, at melaniemilitics.com slash social world because I love the diamond zone and it'll make me much easier. I'll get many, many fewer questions in my inbox about the scripts if you go and get them today, right? All right, awesome. Okay, so we talk about my, uh, we call it the LinkedIn lead system and there's definitely a methodology to this. I'm not gonna go over all of it. We're gonna breeze through some, but today the the entire focus is on setting the appointment and actually getting inbound calls. Imagine that, right? But the, mo the day's goal is how to get that contact, that perfect prospect um, to say yes, to take a look at your opportunity and get that appointment set for follow-up, right? So the methodology we use for LinkedIn is first, you're going to position yourself for maximum profit. We're going to connect, which is what we are focused on today with proven inbox scripts. And we're going to keep our LinkedIn profile up to date with engaging, entertaining, and educational content. And just a moment, because I have noises that are distracting me.
Awesome. All right. So step one, we talk about our perfect prospect. We talked about that last time on Diamond Zone. Um, we talked about who your actual perfect prospect is. So think about that before you even get started. This is not a big giant net you're casting. You're casting the perfect net so that when you're making those connections and actually messaging people, you have a genuine something in common with these people and that you really can relate to them when you're having a conversation. So important. So please, you know, focus on the right prospect for you, not for everybody, but for you. And you're going to want to make sure that your profile is set up before you start. Because the first thing that somebody's gonna do, just like anywhere else on social media, is when they get an inbox from you or when they get a connection request from you, they're gonna go over to your profile and they're gonna determine whether or not they like you, whether or not they wanna connect with you, whether or not you're a professional or if you have next to nothing on your profile. Okay, that's what they're gonna do first. So get your profile optimized before you start this process because otherwise you're just kind of out there um and but what's really really important to note is yes your profile getting you know done right is is ideal it's what you got to do but don't think for a second that all you're going to do is get your profile beautiful and then hit connect and then you're going to suddenly like grow a massive downline it doesn't work that way and if anybody tells you that they're lying but people like to lie and they like to take your money and, and do things like that so i'm not here to you know make you think that linkedin is like some magical place that just because you show up you make money okay that doesn't work anywhere so we are going to today get to the nitty-gritty and what we're actually going to do and i hope that nobody here is afraid of work you think anybody here is afraid of work jeff i don't think so or they wouldn't be here at 10 in the morning or 7 in the morning or wherever it is in the world in the morning or afternoon, right? They wouldn't even be here. So if you're not afraid of work, then stick with me because I'm gonna give you exactly what to do. It's not hard. You can be really systematic. And when you track the numbers properly and you do this day in, day out, there's no way you could stop the money from rolling in. That's the facts. So um, the, the, one of the things you've got to do um, before you can even search to make connections is actually increase your current connections. That, because you can't even see, because I get that question a lot, like I can't, I'm not getting a whole lot of people that I can see to make connections. Yeah, you actually have to grow your connections some. Um, so go connect with me, because when you connect with me, you're suddenly connected to every single person I'm connected to and you can see them in search. So I got a lot. <laughs> so connect with me. So find me on LinkedIn and uh, we'll, uh, that will actually help. So what we're gonna do is 10 minutes a day, you're going to go and find these perfect people and you're gonna send out connection requests. The connection request, the script is so not even a script. It's simply something like, I think it would be beneficial for us to connect. The point is, it's the, the um, the point is, it's gotta be something other than the canned message that you get on LinkedIn. So like if you just said, just send connect, it says add note question mark, yes. Always add a note, even if it's a one-liner and just make sure it's not the exact thing that LinkedIn sends out, okay? So do that and you will increase the number of people that will actually say, yes, I want to connect. Just because you personalize a little bit. You're not selling in the connection request. You don't have a link to anything in your connection request, not even a phone number. It's just a little blurb, right? And you can copy and paste that over and over again when you're making your 10 requests a day, right? So in the course, we'll go through this in detail, um, but when you get a new contact, you gotta engage. This is where the money is. This is where people drop the ball. This is where people don't do the work. I'm gonna give you this, the actual process. So as of the end of this session today, you're gonna to know where the money is. So step, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go and engage them, okay? So you're gonna endorse them, and then you're gonna inbox them. And as I say, on LinkedIn, you don't have to dance. 
I don't know about you, but I get kind of um, annoyed. That's the only word, way I can put it. When somebody tries to form me in my inbox, okay? And I've been doing this for a really long time. So when somebody comes in my inbox and they start forming me, I know exactly what they're doing. And I wish they would just get down to business and ask me if, they're, if I'm open so I can say no. <laughs> right? It's a fact. So I am respectful of other people in that same fashion. And in the, um, in the same vein, let me also explain something that is a big mental fallacy. It's not a fallacy because in network marketing, traditionally, when people are um, building a network for their circle of influence, they're getting started with you because they know, love, and trust you. I say love, right? They actually know, like, and trust you. So in a traditional fashion, you, you, you know, the know, like, and trust is first before they're enrolling. That's the fact. So it's not a fallacy. But what my, the fallacy is that online, that you've got to become best buddies before you can become business partners. And that is where you've got to right now make a decision to swap it. Because the way that it works online, and I can tell you 17 years in the making, is my best friends were not friends before they enrolled. They enrolled, we discovered that we worked well, amazingly well together, and we went and conquered the world together. That's where the relationship comes. The people who are you're prospecting do not have to become best friends first. Jeff, what do you think of that, that statement right there? Because it's kind of a big one. He says, all right, got thumbs up. Awesome. Because the fact is, they're going to get enrolled. <laughs> you don't have to make best friends first. And you really, really, really do not want to spend a whole bunch of time on the phone with somebody before they enroll or even after they enroll. But that's another rule. <laughs> right? So do not think that you have to have this like soul searching, long winded conversation with somebody before asking them to get to the overview. Don't do that to yourself. This business doesn't have to take that much time. That's the facts. All right. So Let's get to the, to the nuts and bolts. Cool. All right. So I'm going to look at this. Oh, it says master f list of scripts. It's supposed to say master list of scripts. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to get to what to actually do. So if we made a connection, so let's go over to LinkedIn. We made a connection. We go over to my network. Can you see my LinkedIn profile? Just give me a thumbs up. Okay, cool. Uh, you're gonna come over to your connections. And as you can see, my friends, I don't have a million connections. Got more than enough going on without a million. You got 30,000 to go. So if you're just starting out with like 500,000, you think, oh, I got 30,000 to go before I see a whole lot of action. Not at all true. Not at all true. So see y'all. These are all your newest connections, right? So the first thing you do, you're gonna go over to this beauty with ears, and <laughs> you're going to come on down, see what she does. Okay, I see, awesome. You're gonna endorse them for things that you wanna be endorsed for. Oops, it's going so slow because I'm on Zoom, come on. Oh my goodness. I didn't wanna go to Belinda's. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. And then you're going to hop in their inbox. Okay. You're going to hit message. Now your message is as follows. This is where it gets really good. So let's focus, right? Nope. Now, as I said, I'm gonna email these scripts to you today. If you're on the diamond list, not everybody in my world is gonna get these scripts, but you are, so let me just chat this to you real quick. All right. So, when you first connect, as you say, 
uh, you're going to, we don't pitch on the hello. Yeah, never pitch on hello. That would be the equivalent, which really, I mean, it just makes perfect sense. <sighs> so I get people that do this tell me all the time. It's kind of like an accostment. You don't like it, so why would you do it? So if you go to the mall, or I don't want to say the mall, you're going to do a business networking group, and I've got a million cards from a million people, so I'm just trying to find one. All right, here we go. Go to the business networking group, and you're connecting with people, saying, hello, how you doing? What, what do you do? You say, what do you do? You ask, like, a question. You ask a question. But that person says, I do digital, blah, 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 blah. And, this, and, it, and they give you a commercial. They, like, you're having a conversation, and they spit a commercial back at you. They give you a pitch. Like, I don't want to be pitched. It was weird to be pitched, right? If instead... <laughs> They actually like ask me a question. That's where the magic happens. People want to want to talk. First of all, that's the first thing you need to know. You talk less <laughs> and make more money. Talk less, make more money. A good acronym for that is W A I T. Why am I talking? Wait. Okay. So ask them a question first. This does two things. Number one, you're not pitching them on hello. Number two you are actually gonna get them to respond to your first message. You're gonna find that truthfully on LinkedIn, not everybody is active, okay? So they might hit connect, but they don't know how to use this yet. And they don't really go in and answer their inbox messages. So you don't want to think for a moment that just because somebody connected with you and you sent this message that they're not really even like liking you. Like who, it's not about liking you, first of all. Okay, that's not what it's about. It's about <laughs> whether or not they're going to respond at all. This is how you find out if somebody is an active and uh, a social, a social, a social, socializer, active socializer. Are they going to use the network? Are they actually even going to be there to have a conversation with you? So you ask them a question. Simple question. Thank you for connecting. I see we have some things in common. Oh, pharmaceutical sales is kind of exactly um, why keeps <laughs> use uh, whatever you were in as well, right? Tell me, tell me, what are you hoping to get out of being here on LinkedIn? Just ask them a question. What are you hoping to get out of here on LinkedIn? And you can have in your signature file. So this is just a little bit of what you're going to hear from me, your SIG file. Okay. SIG file means signature file, just like you would have on your, in your email. Um, you're going to put uh, your, you can put your link. This is not a pitch. You're not saying any words after this, like go take a look at the best, most amazing thing on the planet. Nothing. <laughs> but you can start to put your signature file in places. Okay. After they're connected. Your SIG file goes on all of your messages. So you thank them, and then they get back to you. Now you actually have someone that you can make the invitation to. You Just because somebody connected doesn't mean you have an invitation. First, they're going to tell you something about themselves. You're going to respond with something about that, what they said. <laughs> okay. And uh, here we go. Let me just come on down here. And then you're going to reply something like this. And this is a two different approaches. And those of you who are watching, there are different personality types. And everybody, and, and because there are different personality types, and sometimes you just follow your gut instinct. Um, there are two different ways that you can approach the second message. And please don't think that everyone has to use the direct. This is a fallacy. A fallacy is that you have to be, ask everybody a very, to be a direct prospector to everybody that you meet. But if you really study uh, the approaches that we can use for network marketing, uh, there's direct and direct, and there's a can you help me kind of approach, right? Um, and 
most people think that all they can do is direct. And sometimes you don't prospect at all somebody because you're afraid to do the direct approach. In that moment of indecision of whether or not you feel like you should be prospecting this person in front of you or next to you or on the, on the, on the text, you, if you have any question, then just use the indirect approach. Okay, so I'm gonna go over the direct first, but then we're gonna go to, into the indirect. So the direct approach is simple, excellent, Thank you for sharing. Like, say something about what they said. It doesn't have to be a whole lot. And then you can take this and just copy and paste. Say, I've got, you got this on a document that you can take anywhere with you if you use something like Google Docs. And you just copy and paste. Something like this. And you feel free to change the verbiage a little bit, but just know that I've been doing this for a long time. So don't change it to be wishy-washy. Don't change it to make it less powerful, less uh, postured, okay? So uh, I'm here as an international expansion leader with a company that offers the opportunity to earn an outstanding income working from home. Would you be open to exploring what that would look like for you? That's direct, okay? I didn't use amazing, I didn't use best, um, and I asked them if they were open. Now, you might think, well, well, amazing, what's wrong with me? Just these little words, these little trigger words that they don't, they don't come across as well as you'd like them to. So I find that the word outstanding actually is uh, more professional. I don't know how to also say it. Um, but the question, would you be open to exploring what that would look like for you? Would you be open? That's the key. And if in the, the best way to avoid rejection is to ask somebody if they're open. So this is you're asking them if they're open. And not that we're really, I don't, I don't think there's really much pain in being rejected on LinkedIn or any social network, but hey, why spam somebody in the first place? Ask them if they're open, <laughs> right? So, and this also avoids rejection. So don't spam them and bet them so they can come back at you and be like, um, hi, I didn't ask you for your link, but, and no, I don't wanna look at it. <laughs> you don't want that, right? So. Just like at the party or the business networking group, you don't want to like pitch somebody in front of you before you ask them if they were open. In fact, that's not the place to do it, right? So that's your direct approach and it's gonna work. It works a, a work gangbusters. And for some of you, you're just like, that's mine. I'm on it, that's it. Now here's the other one. And this one works, the indirect approach works well, not just for, um, Not just for LinkedIn, but also any situation that you're in. Okay, so anywhere where you, maybe you connect with an old friend, you bump into them, uh, they ask you what's up, what you're doing, you know, this is the magic question, okay? It's what you're doing and then who do you know? It's there, you can either ask, who do you know? Or you could say, would you be open to looking so that you can better refer me? Okay, so when you're saying, would you refer me? You're no longer directly prospecting the person in front of you because you don't know if they are a prospect or not, right? You're still asking them if they'd be open. In this case, you're asking them to be open to taking a look at what you're doing so they could better refer you. Why? Because LinkedIn is a social network, just like the business networking group that you go to. All of the people at the group are not necessarily your prospects, but if you connect with them properly and correctly educate them on what you do, they can be the most amazing referral partners ever. I'm gonna say that again. You go to a business networking group and you notice I do all the time bring the real world in because this is how you blow your business up. <laughs> blow it up, right? <laughs> that at the business networking group, those people are not your best prospects though. They may all buy one. They may all want a helo and need one. Yes, no question. But they may not be your biggest blow up your business business builder, but you get a helo on the wrist and they start to refer you. That can be magical. So it's the same concept on LinkedIn. The people that you're connecting with may not be 
the actual business partner, they could refer you. So the indirect approach is, is the same intro, right? So you essentially say after they get back to you and tell you what they do, you say something like wonderful to know, da, 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 da. Um, glad to hear you know, your new position's going well for you or whatever they said. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm here as an international expansion leader with a company that offers an opportunity to earn an outstanding income from home. Sound familiar? Now here's where it changes. If you know of anyone looking for a vehicle to increase their income, please do think to connect them with me. Okay? But I didn't just leave it at that. Like, hey, I'm awesome. I'm over here. And send people my way. That'd be really like a waste of my time. Because they're not just going to suddenly throw people at you. <laughs> right? Instead, you say, and, then, and they're thinking to themselves, oh, sure. Maybe I connect them with you. Next thing you ask is, given that it takes just three minutes to get the details, would you be open to watching a quick video so you can better refer me? Three minutes. That's all it takes. And maybe it's a four minute video. I don't know. How many minutes? Three or four? Two, three, or four minutes? The video. The intro for on Hilo. So I'm looking for fingers, Jeff. Five minutes. Four. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Also, so give me just four minutes to get the details. Would you be open to watching a quick video so you can better refer me? What if you get some yeses? And what if you don't, what, you know, what, what happens then? Awesome. Great. Either way, you got a yes. So let's go to yes because yeses are more fun. And then I promise you, I'm going to cover what happens when they say no, because they're either going to say yes or no, or they're going to just disappear off the face of the earth. <laughs> Whatever. Who cares? It's a numbers game, right? So yes, here's your let. Yes. Now keep it simple. Do not pitch them. Okay. Remember how I said, um, the less you say, the more you make, it goes the same in the inbox. Okay. Same in the inbox. If you come back at them with some long winded pitch commercial about world in their inbox, they're, they, unless there are some personality types will read every word, but they're going to ask you for more details later. Trust me. But most of them are just going to go, whatever, leave me alone. Like seriously, the less you say, the more you make. So reply back. Excellent. Please review this four minute video. Once you have, we'll schedule a time to get your questions answered. Again, very specific language here. You're being direct. You're letting them know the next steps after they watch the video. And you say, and I use the word wheel. We'll schedule a time. It's just as inclusive, good, a good word. Do all these little differences make it, all these little nuances make a difference? I believe that they do. Okay. We'll schedule a time to get your questions answered. Okay. So you put your uh, two minute video in there and then you just hit them back. How soon will you, and this is like, if you were on the phone, you'd be doing this. You'd be like, okay. And you know, if you're on the phone and you would, you'd qualify somebody that they were open to take a look at the information. Okay. You get through a couple of questions to qualify them. And then you would say, excellent. Our next steps is for you to watch the introductory video. Um, if I send that over to you right now, would you have, would you be able to watch it right now? Yes. Okay. Or no. Okay. Well, what time will you be able to watch it? And they say two o'clock. Okay, great. So then if you're all if you've watched it at two, if I give you a call by two fifteen, then you will have watched it. Yes. Okay, great. Jackie, I've got Sean, uh, to follow up, give you a call back at two fifteen, and you will have watched the video then, right? Yes. Okay. If for ever, any reason you're not able to watch it, then uh, let's then please do hit me back and let me know so that I can schedule somebody else for that time. Would you would you do that for me? Yes. Great. Then you're hanging up the phone. There's no more talking after that. You set the appointment. It's kind of the same thing in the inbox. You're just avoiding. Uh, now, do you have to avoid the phone? No. You could do this on the phone. And for those of you who want to get them on the phone faster, go for it. I prefer to get the most qualified person on the phone. Okay, so getting them to watch the four minute video first qualifies them a bit before they get on the phone. So you ask them, how soon will you be able to be able to watch now? Now, great. <laughs> so then, um, and then 
you know, we'll be free at one or one thirty. I'm literally just giving them the, the only two times a rule, you know, for follow up. Like I can only call you back at two times. You only give them two options. Um, so don't worry about the actual if it's one or one thirty. For those of you who are really, re really literal, that's literally just a two time rule. Um, so you're going to send them over the two minute, the four minute video. That's the first step. Boom. Now, follow up is after they have said yes. Yes, they are going to watch. Now, two things are going to happen. They're going to watch it and they're going to fill out the video. Yay. Relief. The form, I mean. They're going to fill out the form of the video. Relief. Great. Now everything's on, on a roll. It is flowing. <laughs> they are in the pipeline officially if they fill out the form, right? So if they do, simple. Just ask them a question. Hello, I see you've reviewed the World Global Network intro video. Would you be free to talk at two or four today? That's it. Ask them the question to get on the phone. Um, if instead, if they come back with questions, so they're either gonna fill out the form and you're good, then you, you get on the whole, get on the get on the train to follow up immediately. Um, if they did, if they only watched it but they didn't, but they come back with questions. Great, you know they watched it anyway. So they come back with questions, you're going to invite them to the overview. And I heard you say privatehelomeeting.com, right Jeff? That's what I heard you say in the beginning? Okay, cool. That's what I just put in here. So they come back with questions. Oh, if they come back with questions, first of all, you're gonna say, awesome, you've got questions. Would you be free to talk at two or four? At that point, you get them on the phone anyway, even if it is to invite them to the overview, okay? That's, the, that's gonna be the invite call. You're only gonna spend like five minutes on the phone with them just to, add, to invite them to the actual overview. You're gonna say, the best way, okay, your, our next steps are for you to watch the overview. It's the best way for you to get the full details on this opportunity and how it's going to do whatever they said they wanted. That's part of the conversation, right? They said they wanted to be free to spend more time with their kids. That would be me. I would say, great. So the best way for you to get the details is for you to watch the overview. That way you can find out how World Global can help you to spend more time with your kids. And we'll know whether or not this is for you or not. Right, we can know or we'll know whether or not this is for you. Done. Off the phone again. <laughs> okay. Fast, fast, fast. You're gonna invite them to the private helo meeting. Uh, my friends, once they've watched the private helo meeting, from that point, you got to get them on the phone with somebody who's gonna enroll them. If that's you, perfect. If it's your somebody that you work with in the company, upline, sideline, around line, friends, whatever it is, get them on a three-way call to do the enrollment. That's what happens after this all day long. Now, here's the facts. When you invite them to the private helo meeting, they will either show up and they'll say, yes. They'll say, no, they won't show up. <laughs> or they'll show up and they have questions, right? If they have questions, that's the three-way call. Now, here's the other thing that can happen. If they go quiet, so back here, you invited them to watch your four minute video and they didn't respond to you, they didn't fill out the form, they just kind of are hanging in mid air. What do you do next? This is where people get all like, oh, and they wanna tell the whole story like, and it does not matter, this is what he wants you to understand. It doesn't matter if this person's your perfect prospect and they went to your school and they did cheerleading too. And like that whole story doesn't mean anything. The only thing that matters is they went quiet. So whatever, <laughs> whatever they, they did and they went quiet, copy paste. Copy paste is, it looks like you have questions that you'd like to answer before we talk. But fair enough. You know what? I would rather somebody get every detail under the sun go to the corporate website, go to the getting started training. Like they can go and read everything before they get on the phone with me because they don't want to be sold. They think they're going to get on the phone with some kind of crazy salesperson if they get on the phone with you, which you know is not the case, but that's what they think. 
So I'd rather them get every detail possible. I'll send them to the, uh, the link to get started. I'll send so they can buzz all over your world global website, which you're going to have to give me in a minute, Jeff. Um, the actual one for the, where they can buy. So the one has all the details. Um, so my point is, if they go quiet, you're just going to say, it looks like you have questions that you'd like answered before we talk. Please take the time to watch the full business overview. It will make clear the benefits of working with world. You give them the times for the over, for the overview and the link. Right. And then you say, and you close it with saying, I believe you will see what I saw a way to continue to work in the wellness field on my terms. Now this, you can, you know, change up for your own, you know, a bit on your own, but I believe that you will see what I saw. This is an I and you are alike close. It's an NLP thing. Okay. People like us like to do these kinds of things. You should watch this video and then we can get on the phone. It's just, it just works. <laughs> okay. So that's the close. And, but when I say that's the close, you can always still include your, um, I'm going to just copy paste your signature file. I mean, want to be really crystal clear. You're including your signature file. Cause what if they never even went in the first place? You know that sometimes people don't even realize they can scroll up on the, um, on the messages. So they're like, what are you talking about? Go where? But if you keep include your, um, your four minute video at the signature file, they're like, Oh, there, that's right. I remember now I actually did want to do that. I just got sidetracked. My French fries were burning, whatever. Right. Okay. So, and here's the magical follow-up email. All right. So now you have this person, they're in the pipeline. I say as soon as they are, they have filled out your form on this is where I would use this, right? So as soon as they fill out your form and you have their email, you could also ask them for their email at any point in this conversation so that you can follow up in their actual inbox. Now I know I'm sure that your app totally sends them out a magical response and your know, world kicks in to market for you and follow up, right? Right? Just nod. Yes. But what I find is sometimes those don't get into the right place. So I always go to my Gmail and do a magical, my magical follow-up email. So here's the magical formula for the follow-up email and just follow along so that you can hear the, um, hear the, the way that this comes across. Okay. Hello. I hope this finds you completely satisfied in all areas of your life. And if you're not, then maybe that's why you requested information from me. Perhaps partnering with our successful team is just what the doctor ordered. You can say, there we go. I, I do, that's exactly what I said. We won't know for sure until you've had a look at some videos that do a good job of highlighting this particular company, and more importantly, how you would fit into the picture if you decide to do so. Should you decide to do so, not if. Should you decide to do so? Again, this is a very simple prospect process you look at who we are and then you decide for yourself if you could see yourself being involved that's it you have to see this for you no one else can make you see something in fact I'm going to give you some very simple facts that are just that facts the name of the company is world global network in the six years they've been in business they've done over Jeff this is where I need your help how much in sales have they done? Can you just unmute and tell me versus me trying to look in the chat? In six years, about, let's say, 500 million. All right, awesome. Which is half a billion. But 500 million sounds better. <laughs> They've done over 500 million sales without half of that being paid to people like you. Get the point? It's not about the company. Woohoo, the company. Who cares? People like you. I've gotten about half of that, right? In the first six months after launching it to North America, they already had 25 six-figure earners. And the company, do you know how many millionaires they've already created? Um, it's since, since Hilo, since Hilo, four. Okay. So do you see how Jeff actually knows those numbers? There's a really big reason why he knows those numbers and why you should know them. This should be part, the money, and the, the opportunity should be a major part of your conversation. I heard him say in the beginning, 
Don't be afraid to mention the opportunity when you're doing commercial. Oh my gosh, if you're on LinkedIn and you're trying to just sell Hilo, you're missing the point, right? So um, company has produced over 4 millionaires and there are hundreds of people making over $10,000 a month. I'm certain of that, obviously, because you don't make millionaires without people making 10,000 a month. I'm direct, now here's where maybe you don't have the 150K a, month, a, a year, a month, what if Jeff said, <laughs> um, story. Uh, but you have, uh, your story is who you're connected to. People want to know that they're going to be supported in this endeavor. So I'm directly connected to the top people in the company and you will have world-class training and support. Get it? You don't have to have a story. There is no story to ha be you know, manufactured. If somebody says, how much money are you making? You say, you know what? This is actually not about me. It's about you. And if you really want to know about the money making opportunity, I can do one of two things. I can send you the compensation plan video, or I can get you on the phone with somebody who will absolutely answer those questions. They're one of our team support and six figure earners. That's the answer to the question. Even if you've made money before in other companies and you don't have a story now, people get all like, about the story that you don't have to know. You just have to have the answer ready. Did you hear what I said? It came right off the tip of my tongue. Why? Because you got to have it. It's actually better to, to put the, put it back. This is not about me. This is about you. And if you want to know if this opportunity can help you to be home with your kids, well then watch the overview and I'll get you on the phone with somebody who's qualified to answer those questions. And they'll absolutely tell you, you know, so that's how you just, that's how you answer. Okay, so the end of this email, it's those numbers are pretty staggering and the very least would be worthy of looking. Here are your next steps. You give them the next steps. Go here to watch the, the um, short introductory. This is not a LinkedIn. This is your Hilo, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> so you're gonna go to the short introductory overview. You're going to tell them to mark the calendar for, I said tonight, but I don't know if it's tonight or when it is, but you might have to change that. Mark your calendar to be at the, on the meeting. Book a call with me and open your account. So where do they open their account? What's the actual, what's that website? Dot world, dot GN? Jeff? Go ahead, Lisa. Oh, okay. It's the same one. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. They could sign up on the same, on every, well, it, it, some people don't have the Hilo.life, so it's their username.worldgn.com. Worldgn.com, cool. Perfect. Open your account here. Hi, you give them the instructions to open their account. People want to be led. They want to know what to do. They want to know what the next steps are. If you have somebody who is desperate to change their life, just like you were, somebody prospected you, right? And they went through this information, the beauty of, in, of LinkedIn and messaging and inboxes and marketing versus just having you know, the individual, you, know, you have to be on the phone to do it or whatever, is they could do this at three o'clock in the morning. They could go and go and watch the videos and then go and go to your World GM site, search all around, realize, oh my gosh, I really need that for my mom. Like I need to be able to monitor her all the time. This is exactly what I was looking for. Thank God, right? And they go and they, they know what to do. They can sign up. Do you think this happens? The answer is yes, but it can only happen if you do this with many, many people. So, so you know, it could be the first person or it could be the hundred and first. You just have to be willing to do the work because the, I'm going to wrap this up by saying it is not the person with the most charisma who wins in this game. It is the person who has the most people watch the overview. I'm going to say it again. You, because you look, you know, you may be comparing and comparison is such a sad pitfall. Do not compare yourself to others and think, oh my gosh, it's, she's winning. He's winning because he's so handsome or she's so pretty. And she's just been at this for so long. And you know what? The answer is that they, all those things might be true, but you know what else is true? They work their tail off and they have more people watch the video because you may also go to convention, look at the people on the stage going, well, heck man, if they can do this, I can do this. That's because they work their tail off. There's no difference between the two people. Okay. There is no difference. And you can absolutely do this. The difference is you're going to play the game the same way every time. So if you do these things in the same order, in the same way, you're going to get better and better at it. Your ratios are going to improve and you're going to enroll more people. But if you wing this thing, 
if you wing this thing either by sending whatever you think you should be writing to somebody at any time, or worse, getting on the phone and winging those conversations, that's a mess. Like, please get the scripts down, right? Lisa, we've got a way that we definitely lead the conversation and get them from one point from A to, to Z, right? Um, play the game the same way every time to win. You will get better, promise. So let me wrap this with... You're on mute at least. Hey, Melanie. Yes, um, organizationally, what do you recommend for people? I mean, I've, I mean, I'm kind of a paper and pen gal, but do you recommend something so that at, to keep organized? There's a lot of people that, you know, when I, I don't keep their name unless I send the video. A thousand percent. And thank you for asking. That's perfect. Okay. So just organizationally, do you do a book? Yes. Do you do a spreadsheet? What do you do? Yep. So there's two things that you can do. And I prefer both because sometimes you're on the go, right? So LinkedIn doesn't allow you to like put people in categories or anything. That, and you can't just deal with your inbox and think that that's going to be the way. So two different things. You can and should have a notebook where you pro all of your prospects who have watched the video then go into a process. I also use um, Google, Google Sheets. Okay, so Google Sheets, it's just an app, and it's it's an Excel spreadsheet, but it lives everywhere you go. So it's on your phone, right? So you can put, um, like here's one, uh, here's one. You're not gonna be able to see it anyway. Like you really need to see the tiny, tiny thing. Okay, so essentially here's, you put the, the you have the headline. So here's the name, here's did they watch the video, did they watch the overview, have they been on a three-way call, are they enrolled? Like you can literally have the process on a spreadsheet, carry it around with you. So if you're sitting somewhere going, ah, I really wish that there was more business in my business. I want to make more money. Oh, wait, I have a follow-up to do. Follow-up is magic. Follow-up is where the money is. You open your spreadsheet. You go, oh, look, I forgot all about Jackie Johnson. I'm going to so go and send Jackie Johnson a message right now. I'm going to go engage her somehow. I'm going to go to her LinkedIn wall and like something or comment or, and everything that you can do because they're a prospect because they actually filled out the form. Okay, so that's how I organizationally keep track. If they don't reply to your inbox, they don't go on the list. If they, if they bail out on you, oh, shoot, that was the last thing. All right, I know it's almost time, guys, but this is important. And I'm just going to, I want to, I want to give this last piece. And I hope that you don't mind me going a couple seconds over here. I promise. All right, so last piece. Because some people are going to say no. <gasps> what do I do if somebody says no? This is what you say when somebody says no. Just be so professional they can't even stand it. Okay? This is the beauty of it. <laughs> be like, oh my God, who are these people? They're like, they act like, you know, real estate professionals. Like, oh my God, you don't want to buy my house? Why not? What's wrong with me and you and the world is over? No. It's, um, sorry. <laughs> it's awesome. What we do is, if they say no, say great. And you do it fast. Thank you so much for getting back to me so quickly. Thank them. Awesome. You're not open. Thank you. Let's stay connected as our network equals our net worth. And you never know when we might be able to help one another down the road. End of conversation. Yay! In a good note. You're kind. You're loving. You still give your heart back to them. Even better, if they're local, you give their heart, the heart back to them in this huge way. They'll be like, who the heck are these people? Ready? The no. Thank you so much for getting back to me so quickly. I see you are local. I'm involved with several community networking groups. If you'd like to be my guest sometime, I'd be happy to introduce you to my professional friends. Get out of town. You wanna do what? So you're a local real estate agent that I found on LinkedIn and I'm not open to your opportunity, but you're willing to invite me to come and meet your friends so I can make more connections. Oh, I love you, chick. I'm there, okay? To get it to that is so beautiful. So let me just end with, um, We gotta fly through and get to the last slide so I can make sure everybody knows where to get these scripts today. Always be selling and go for no, <laughs> okay? Make sure that you do capture their information and follow up forever. That was what we were talking about when you have a, a follow-up list. <clears throat> Don't waste your time trying to find, figure this out on your own. Don't burn through your contacts using the wrong approach. Do take care to do this properly, work with the LinkedIn lead system, 
and go get it. <laughs> okay. So if you can, you can get your, um, the scripts I'm going to be mailing out here in about an hour, just to the diamond list right here at social world. And, uh, you'll also get the LinkedIn checklist to follow so that you can get your, um, so you can get the full methodology and just really get systematic about this thing. And that's what I got. Yeah. All right. So do we handle any questions? You're gonna wrap, Jeff. I know it's 10. Yep, awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome as always. And um, Lisa, do you wanna um, um, promote tomorrow? Um, yes, and Melly, that was fantastic. So the scripts that you guys know where to go and Melanie, you're going to get me the scripts. Yes, ma'am. Um, yeah, the scripts are magical. And you, and you already talked about this. You put them on a word doc. They're right at the bottom of my computer. So depending on what level I'm at with each person, I just open up my word doc, copy and paste. Boom. It's so simple. It's just bringing people through that process. Um, that was fantastic. So tomorrow, you guys, um, February 1st, start of a new month, I'm going to be training and um, just going to get started training. We're going to add some new systems in place uh, just to really tighten things up. Uh, Jeff already talked about it. This is, the, this is the year of getting out into the world and out from behind the computer. Although LinkedIn, all social media is so powerful. We want to make this a piece of our business. Balanced. We want to balance this thing out. Um, you know, you should get on in the morning. Don't you agree, Melanie? Go out into the world. You know, maybe get on in the evening. Check it again. But you, we, we, people could get down this rabbit hole if, if, if they don't. And that's not a good place to be. You want to make sure you get out there. So uh, we're going to be talking about that tomorrow. All right, guys. Thank you. Uh, Melly, put the um, group up. Just uh, stop share. Did I? Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. That's okay. All right, guys. Big applause for Melanie, guys. Thank you. And, You're uh, only showing, honey. I'll see, huh? You're only showing. Oh, well, that's not good. That's scary. I got them. I got them all up. Ready? All right. Everybody say hello. I love you. Thank you. All right, guys. So 12 o'clock. We'll see you guys 12 and 6 tonight for the opportunity presentation. Pack the house. Talk to you guys later. Thank you, Melanie. Thank you. Thank Adios, you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.